If you've watched any number of our videos, you may have met our bird already. This is Peepee. She's our pet pigeon who came to us via a nest that had been disturbed. We had a builder doing some work on the roof and he found a nest and she was sitting in there and he had to move it to be able to continue his work. So he brought Peepee down to us and we've been feeding her ever since. She's about a year and a half old and she's quite used to us. She's quite used to company and she is a real character. She likes to ride around on her shoulder or she'll sit with me when I'm doing some work. She'll try and get into my office when I'm doing some work. She tries to come in the house as much as possible, but I tend to uh, shoo her outside. I don't want to have her inside because she poops everywhere. So she's quite comfortable outside and even just as you can see I'm walking around she's just sitting on my shoulder like she belongs there. So I'm um, figuring I might need to uh, buy a boat and become a pirate or something like that. And even down here in the vegetable garden when I'm working in the garden, especially if I'm down sort of doing some weeding or pulling up some old plants or something like that, anything like that where there's bare soil, she loves to come and scratch around in the soil eat some grubs or eat some plants, whatever she takes her fancy to. And uh, she's really good company. She's really lovely to be around, aren't you? Hey, you do like to be on the camera too, don't you? Hey, you've got no problem with it. Hey, you want to be a superstar? Hey, she's really good company and is very, very confident with my wife and myself. And we've also had to start uh, telling guests when we have guests come to our homestay here. Uh, hey, we've got this pigeon and she might come and visit because she's pretty friendly. When she was young she was maybe a bit more confident and uh, we were welcoming some guests one day and we hadn't mentioned this friendly bird and she came flying down behind this lady and landed on her head. And this poor woman kind of freaked out a bit. So now when we're receiving guests we tell them, oh we've got dogs and they usually see the dogs pretty soon because the dogs all, all get there often to the car to greet our guests before we do. And then PP will come along, so we point out that, hey, we've actually got this bird and she might come and decide to sit on your shoulder or land on your head. Some people have asked if we've trained the pigeon. No, we have not trained the pigeon, but it just tends to be like one of the family. She's so tame and so used to our company. It's delightful. We do feed her. We've got a little feeding station outside the kitchen door. Where there's food there. We buy some packet bird food, we put some rice out and there's a nice bowl of water, a shallow dish of water that she loves to play in and splash about and preen herself and keep clean and we keep the water clean, we make sure to give her fresh water every day so that she can enjoy this a lot. And of course she's not the only one that uses it, we've got a lot of other birds that have discovered where the food is, where the water is and so quite often when we come into the kitchen there's some other birds and there's some sparrows or some cardinal birds quite often and Pippi doesn't seem to mind the other birds but she's also really not interested we've been watching her to see if she interacts with other pigeons there's other pigeons around here but she just pays no attention to them whatsoever and a while back my wife started feeding her peanuts she'll break up some peanuts into smaller pieces and just drop them on the countertop and Pippi will sit there and peck away and peck away and quite enjoys them and lets us know if she's not getting enough. And there's times where she does come into the house and she's really funny. She knows the spots to position herself that I can't reach her very easily. Sometimes I'll have to get a broom and shoo her down from the high places, but she knows where they are. And it's very common that if she's on the floor inside and there's an open door, she knows the way out. All I have to do is walk behind her and she will walk directly to the open door and then to go outside. And I do keep referring to her as a she, but we don't know. We did have a customer, a guest staying here at the homestay a while back who had uh, experience with pigeons and he said, no, it's very difficult to tell whether it's a male or a female, but uh, we're just not sure. So we just keep referring to her but we don't know if we're being politically correct or not I don't think she minds don't you peck at me <laughs> yeah clean yourself leave my moustache alone so there we have it there's the introduction to the bird the little backstory with our 
beloved PP, who is just such a lovely part of our life here and just such an enjoyable character to have. We're quite privileged to have her living at our place and enjoying living here at Suansuk Homestay. <laughs>